Hi everyone, Combo Reviewer here. This time we're reviewing on DMC Devil May Cry. Now, as you know, since Devil May Cry 4 ended its run back in the early 2000s, the creators decided to reboot the game and make a new reboot. Now, this was pretty much done by NeverRealm Studios, the same company that brought us Heavenly Sword and also their planned sequel. Now, there are a lot of differences in this reboot game. For example, Dante, who is the main character, character and also Virgil, are actually now half angel, half demon, which is actually quite interesting. And they kind of change Virgil's mother from being a normal person to an angel. And at the same time, you also battle different bosses. And the demons look much different than what they are. For example, you now have to deal with Mundus, who isn't a cosmic entity, but except a demon overlord, who pretty much controls the city on a whim. And even has his partner, who is carrying his child. Now... I know a lot of people complain about Dante's character, like how he comes off as mean-spirited, arrogant, immature, childish, but again, this is a reboot, so some things will change from the original source. Also, what's a bigger confusion is how Virgil has all these powers at the last moment of the game, and you're thinking, why didn't you do this before? And there are certain characters that will replace certain others. For example, Kat, who is, the, who is meant to be Virgil's assistant, is obviously meant to be the replacement to Trish. Now, at the same time, the game's premise is actually quite interesting. Because in it, you've got these demons pretending to be humans and you even got a soda company that is almost like the one from Futurama. Now, again, I, I did give a copy to my friend Henry and he said that he did like it, who's also known as Toy Reviewer and Hemo and Emo Henry and all that. Now, at the same time there is a DLC in this called Virgil's Downfall. In this one, Virgil kind of acts emo and he kind of wants to make the world a better place for himself. At the same time, he, when he says that he's planning to conquer all, make the world better, you really, you really do agree because you, you, you do understand that Dante and Cat won't actually be up for it. And in it, Virgil comes off as wanting to make things better for himself, and doesn't hold any guilt. Now, I know there was a lot of promotional brand for Devil May Cry, like there was a comic book series, of the reboot game, and so on. Now, there have been talks about doing a sequel, and I actually would like to see it, and I have spoken with my friend Henry about it, and would like to see what there could be about. Also, with the game itself, Self, there has been the remastered versions of the other three Devil May Cry games, minus the fourth one. So I do admit, I actually do admit, the game does take inconsiderate and if not hurtful remarks. For example, when a white wig lands on Virgil's head, he mainly says, not in a million years. And it's kind of the critter's way of saying, we don't care what you say about our Virgil, he's our Virgil now. I admit, it is actually not a bad game, so it deserves a good thumbs up. It's alright, but really, it's a reboot, so really, it's not going to be as good as what you think it is. So, this is my review, so, comic review here, signing out.